Um, good afternoon. Um, my name is Jim Ray. My mother and father named me Jim because uh, probably they wanted me to uh, develop the Japan University Network. So they named me Jim, okay? And uh, when I was a child, uh, my teacher, the first thing I remember when I got into the, my elementary school, and the teacher asked me, what would you uh, like to be? Okay, that was the question uh, she raised to the other uh, members of the classroom. And my, I remember my answer clearly. Um, I said, I want to be a scientist. And then, they know, then she asked us to draw a picture of uh, images of uh, when I grow up type of a thing. So I have that picture, actually, uh, even today. And that was like a scientist-like. And uh, then uh, sitting in the room at the university. So I wanted to be a scientist at the university. So um, I'm a computer scientist, am I? I don't know. OK, so, uh, so the question is, uh, um, I achieved my dream. Uh, so uh, that was uh, uh, the story. So I, uh, yeah, talking about the scientist, uh, I like a magazine called uh, uh, what? Uh, science, science for Children, Kodomo no Kagaku. Okay, yeah, that was my favorite magazine. Still there. And by the way, the uh, anyway. So my room, small room, when I was children, when I was a child. And then filled up with, uh, it's like, you know, 30 centimeters of uh, piles of the kodomo no kagaku, science for children. So all the back numbers. And uh, then you know, I was sleeping on the, you know, on the piles of uh, uh, science for children. Okay, that's what I was. So um, I really wanted to be a scientist. Okay, now um, let me talk a little bit about the uh, internet. Um, so um, the first word is a welcome to SFC because I'm, talking, I'm still talking about the internet. Uh, the internet started in here. Um, so uh, when we connect the internet, oh, by the way, the NASA Ames, uh, who, who, who came from a NASA Ames? Okay, the first things we did for the connecting the internet uh, in the Pacific was connecting SFC with the NASA Ames. So uh, NASA Ames, I remember all the days uh, we've been working of the startup of the internet around the world. Uh, so the NASA wanted uh, to, um, to work with the Japanese scientists and then and I wanted to help them. Okay, so um, the SFC is a very, very special place. That, uh, the, you know, this is a gateway to connect the entire country of the internet uh, for the first uh, five years, I believe. So um, the internet was invented to connect the, all the computers, and the, then the, that was a co called the computer network at the first. And uh, I don't very much uh, a big fan of the computer because the computer is uh, for computation, but uh, then the computer becoming to help people in the, then our life. So uh, then I know my interest on the computer started. So uh, then the internet working it, because the internet working, I mean, connecting computers because to support people. Okay, then I know, in the 95, you met uh, Vince Surf, my friend. And uh, then, you know, uh, we talked about the, what's gonna be the future of the internet. Then, you know, we are uh, kind of uh, working on a kind of phrase about the future of the internet together. So actually, I said the internet for everyone. But then they know, oh, other, Vince said, no, 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 this is uh, for the good English, then they know, you should say internet is for everyone. So that's, that's a, uh, probably 95 uh, we have discussed about the internet is for everyone. That was a 
purpose is still not, uh, not achieved yet, but because uh, you know, we do have uh, 7 billion people on the Earth, and the 2 billion people are connected to the Internet. And now the United Nations talk, started to talk about the human rights is to access the Internet, and now uh, we are far away uh, to reach them. So that's your job to work on that. Um, anyway, so then uh, you know, uh, we are talking about the Internet of Things, things uh, sensors and other things, camera, everything is connected. So Internet is for everything now. Um, so, uh, uh, so getting back to the science, uh, story. Uh, I wanted to be a scientist, but uh, then you know, uh, I kind of. Uh, uh, what is the kind of the best scientist? What is the scientist uh, I want to be? You know, I was thinking about that, but uh, then you know, I found out that the, the best way to be, you know, good for the science is to support the scientist. Okay, that was what I started to think uh, when I uh, worked on. A, uh, various things. So if I saw, I saw a story about the grapes and the fox. Foxes are jumping on the grapes, okay? But they never reach the grape. And then the fox will say, oh, that grapes are too sour, not delicious, not sweet at all, okay? That is excuses not to achieve things, right? That's a story about. Then they know, yeah, this story was has been when I started to do the res my researches, I'm always thinking about this story. And then they know. So the fox wants to get the grape. Fox wants to reach the grape, right? And then the, the question is, how can I support the fox to reach the grapes? So the platform, platform. And every single human being wants to achieve something, wants to solve something, then, uh, you know, is there any way to support them? Then, uh, you know, I wanted to be a scientist, but I decided to support the scientist who wants to achieve something. So that's uh, basically why I wanted to be a computer scientist and a computer engineer computer operator and the internet developer. So uh, then, I, so my dream is to encourage everybody to reach their own grades. So that's how they, um, I, I started. So I trust people, so that's the important thing. So, you know, the next generation will solve the, all the complicated, difficult things. So uh, then, I, until then, I can do to support your future life. So that's basically why I'm working. I've been working on the internet. So trusting people, especially trusting the next generation of people. So the internet, <coughs> one of the problem about the internet developer, especially the early adapters like me, um, we, we started to exchange the digital bits around the world, exchange, transfer, sharing the data, that's what we've been doing. And now, the, then I know all the you know, academics, including the Windsurf and the, all my friends, working together to connect the world. Okay, but actually, I said connect the world, and I'm showing this picture, and then they know connecting everybody. So I could see the people's face, I could see the earth, and they're connecting them. But the only problem was I, I didn't see, we didn't see, we never see the, the boundary of nation. So the internet is a very, very much a global space. Internet created the global space, actually, for the first time for the human being. Actually. So uh, there's no such a space before the internet to be truly global. So anything we do on the internet is global. So global concept was existing, this is global. But then you know, the real issue happening also with the internet. You know, the global issue, global governance. Who's gonna decide for the, this planet? Is there any mechanism to make a decision on this plan, for this planet? 
Okay. Then, uh, so the, that was truly global. Uh, first time I met with the United Nations people, they are talking a different language. Uh, they, you know, the world WIPO people, world intellectual property organization, part of the United Nations. They talked about IP. I talked about IP, internet protocol, intellectual property, different thing. But uh, the most different thing was the WIPO, United Nations people were talking about the international issue. We were talking about the global issue. Um, so the global space is a nature of a nature responsibility for the, uh, by the internet. Um, uh, the globe is connected by optical fiber. Optical fiber is a kind of uh, uh, carrying all the data of the internet. So the <coughs> internet is uh, moving data by the speed of light, right? So the optical fiber, uh, electricity, and uh, you know, all those things is uh, running with the speed of light. So the 133 millisecond is uh, basically the, you know, the round trip time, we call it. Uh, so the going to the other side of the Earth and the coming back. That's, uh, we need the 133 bit because it's speed of light. So it's a nature, it's a natural limit about the, this one, okay? So the, but the, then they know, if you are familiar with the, our interaction uh, with the brain, if we see something, and then we're gonna react to that then they, it's going to take 300 milliseconds, about, or about, okay, 133 milliseconds around the world of the real-time data now, and then that can be supporting human being interaction on the Earth. So this is, so, you know, do, do we want to thank God to create the world with this size. If the size of the Earth is twice as big, then we cannot interact on the Earth with the speed of light, like an internet. So internet connect everybody on the Earth because of this size of the Earth. So that is uh, like a magic. That is uh, nature. So the connecting everybody on the Earth, and then we still can interact real time. So this is about the size. If, so uh, then 133 mi milliseconds is a very nice number to challenge, right? Because uh, we add, uh, you know, there, there's uh, some kind of uh, interaction, I mean, computation of the packet and the packet switching thing. And then, you know, it's going to go easily beyond the 200 milliseconds. And then the 300 milliseconds, that's going to be, you know, that's what we want to limit the latency of the packet round trip time. So the, with the nature, okay, we have to understand the nature. That's a science very much. And then um, look at this. Um, this is a C language. Do, do you, if you're familiar with Hello World, you have to, any programming language, you have to work with, uh, you know, the first, time, first program is uh, basically the Hello World print, okay? Then they, um, this is an invented, I mean, the author of the C language is a, called a person called Dennis Ritchie, also my friend. He passed away this year. Um, inventor of the Unix operating system, C language. And uh, so uh, he was a good friend of mine. I visited him in a Bell Laboratory and they're talking about things and they're actually complaining. He's like a Nobel Prize winner for the computer science already. But I told him that you are wrong. And then, they, what the nasty people. So, cha, this is a definition of the C languages to contain a seven bits, I mean eight bits. So, so I said, cha, Dennis, you use the cha. What's cha means? Oh, of course, character, character. What, what kind of a character are you talking about? He said, English alphabet. English alphabet is a 26 kind of uh, characters. And uh, then, you know, okay, then seven bits can hold up to 128 kinds of data, right? Okay, number. So, um, 
cha, 8-bit, 7-bit, that space only can contain English alphabet. So this is the example that uh, any of the computers were designed based on the English language before this one. So uh, email, eight, RFC 822, email has to be in English. That was the international definition of the, the internet uh, data, I mean email content. So the computer was designed that way, and then uh, nobody complains before, before me, actually. But actually, the, now uh, we need the Japanese characters, and that was a long journey of mine, uh, talking with uh, various people uh, about the introducing the culture nature. So not national, but culture. So um, respecting the culture. Then the one day I received a call from the publishing company I'm familiar with. Uh, that was a, a science for children. Oh, finally I received a call from them. And then I want to be a scientist. But then you know, I was kind of uh, respecting all those magazines. And then uh, finally I got a call from them. And so I wrote the introduction to the internet. This is a picture I asked them to create on that time. So the vessels around the world, but we really need the content. We really need the human being and the culture and the language and the other things. So what that sir, internet is about. So um, basically, internet connects everything, but still for human. Thank you.